Hi everyone, this is Raja here. We had a webinar on how to reduce software spend using ServiceNow SAM Professional. Webinar held on 10 Feb 2022. We covered almost all cool parts of uh, SAM. We showed you one very important feature that how manually removal candidates can be generated right away from software license workbench. Today, we'll see how a removal candidate is created automatically and that would be based on software user details. I'll assume that any person who's watching this video has understanding of course M functionalities. So the first thing is, what is a reclamation rule? Reclamation rule is a specific threshold on software usage for a particular software product. When the defined threshold doesn't meet for a particular user, system will automatically identify him as a removal candidate. A software asset management manager then can quickly see removal candidates on software license workbench and he can take actions accordingly. So let's go to the license workbench. Here I have been a two publishers for Coral who will be creating a reclamation rule. Let's see the details for WinZip. So for this particular software, it seems like it is in compliant and we have 45 installed licenses. Although it seems like it is in compliant and uh, we are you know performing up to the mark but still it could happen like some particular users are not using this uh, software actively and still we have allocations on their name so how we can see the software usage so the answer is normally software usage details are onboarded using microsoft sccm and then you can see the details or you can you know create reclamation rules accordingly right now in our instance we don't have configured sccm so we will be creating software usage records manually so i have created one software usage detail for a particular user already let me show you okay so here this this is a user Elva Pennington and we have created a usage record. Let's open it. Uh, sorry, let me go back. Okay. Yeah. So you can see the publisher, you can see the product is WinZip. Uh, this particular user is using configuration item which is macbook pro 17 username we can see this reclamation type is total usage time it could be last use date as well but um, as of now i selected total usage time and we have selected month january year is 2022 usage count is like this is the third usage count and total second use these are 3600 so means this is only one hour. So once we have a usage detail record in our system, we can proceed and we can create a reclamation rule. I have created a reclamation rule already. Let me open it. Okay, so this is a particular reclamation rule. This is uh, like uh, reclamation type is total usage time and we have aggregated the usage data based on last month and total hour used should be five. So this, this particular reclamation rule is saying for WinZip, for this particular product WinZip, at least any user should have used it five hours each month to avoid the auto reclaim. So now we have a reclamation rule set in our system the next thing is how the reclamation rule would be running. So in the system, there, there is one schedule job. 
which which is sam identify new reclamation candidates we can see and which you know runs on third of every month so right now i'll be running this particular um, schedule job manually and we will see like how the removal candidate would be generated so let's execute it once this is executed we can also see its progress let me open it so we can see this particular schedule job is right now in in progress let's wait to get it complete it's completed now let's go back to the software license workbench and we can see if we have created the removal candidate or not let's go to the core let's go to the winzip okay so now we can see there is one removal candidate generated automatically so as a software asset manager what i can do i can let me show you okay i can open this particular reclamation candidate separately okay so there is a particular workflow running behind this it could be this re removal candidate could be assigned to a person and uh, you know teams can work on this and um, a software particular software would be removed from user's device so once it would be completed so we can click on reclaim we can click on close complete and in this way that particular software would be removed from the user's device and that license will also be available for any other potential use so now what's what's the benefit of uh, creating reclamation rules so let's say if you have defined multiple reclamation rules for different software products your system will automatically check the software usage and will proactively generate removal candidates which can help you to reduce the software spend and you can re-harvest the available licenses to different potential users. This is it for today. So let's meet again for a different interesting video on software asset management. Thank you.